Hello everyone, this is Mumbo and welcome back to another Redstone video. In this one we're going to be taking a look at a super simple hidden input device that I like to call the chest lock. Now this thing uses a really interesting method to get a Redstone output that I am using to try and keep your bases secure. All in all, I think you're going to like it, so let's take a closer look. Now the idea behind this one is really quite simple. On the wall here we've got ourselves a bunch of chests. There is absolutely nothing suspicious about these. You can see there is nothing going on behind them. They are quite simply there. Now, if we place any old item into this chest, you can see that nothing happens. Our little redstone lamp over there does not turn on. However, if I were to quickly place the item in, then quickly remove it, as you can see, we get ourselves a redstone output. Now, obviously, this isn't meant to be linked up to some form of redstone lamp. This should be linked up to a secret door or some form of hidden entrance so that you can slyly get into the other part of your base. Now, if we take a look around the back, you can see that the redstone behind this thing isn't exactly massive, is it? There isn't a whole lot going on. There's just a few droppers, hoppers, comparators, repeaters, torches, and bits of redstone and things, but it's nothing too complicated. I'm sure everyone will be able to build this one. However, if you don't want to build it for whatever reason and you fancy a world download, then of course there is one of those down in the description. But for those of you who do want to build this thing, how about we crack on and I'll show you how to do it. So you want to get things started with a two by six area. And the first thing that we're going to be doing is you want to chuck two blocks down like this and then your chest out the front. Now obviously your chest is going to be the input and that is going to be taken through this block and out using a comparator. That's going to be running into a block like this with a dropper facing upwards and a hopper on top. Then chuck any old item into that hopper right there. Then out of that hopper you want to place two blocks like this, a comparator there and a repeater set to four ticks. It's going to be running into a block with a redstone torch on the side. Next up, you want to place a redstone torch down here, a dropper facing upwards with a hopper running back down into that dropper. Then once again, place any old item into that hopper there. Then you want to place a block down at the bottom with a comparator running out of that dropper there, a block up like this, and then a piece of redstone dust. And finally, on the edge of this block, you want to place yourself a redstone torch, and that is going to be your output. Now, believe it or not, that is all of the redstone completed, I know. It seems really quite simple, so now all you have to do is run this into a T flip flop or some form of RS null latch, then run it into a door, and you've got yourself a secret entrance. Now for those of you who are sat there thinking, I have no idea what a T flip flop is, I'll quickly show you how to build one. And what it will do is it will give a constant output from this system. So you want to run a repeater out of that redstone torch into a sticky piston facing upwards with a block on top, then another repeater coming out of that one, running straight into a sticky piston, and then with some form of redstone block on its face. And then as you can see, if we chuck any old item into here quickly, we will get ourselves a redstone output. This block will be pushed outwards, and that means that we can take a redstone output out from that one and run it into our door. And then once again, if we do it again, you can see that it will toggle and it will turn off the output. So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is all I've got time for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you later.